Hey, what's going on? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Jay Z's "Do It Again," put your hands up. The Emil and Benny Siegel assisted lead single from his 1999 album Volume Three, "Life and Times of S. Carter," was produced by Walk Wilder. But listen close enough, and one can hear the DNA of fellow New York producers Q-Tip and Swiss Beats. During a recent appearance on Math Hoffa's My Expert Opinion podcast, Rock Wilder credited the A Tribe Called Quest and Rough Riders legends as major influences on his beat, which helped Jay Z earn his fifth top ten hit on Billboard's Hot Rap Songs chart. Because when I heard that record the first time, I was like, because I used to produce. Now, mm. like, got a, is that a three bar loop? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. It's a three, 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 four. So it's boom, 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 And the crazy thing about right, that was, third, and yeah. then, it then it switched over to. I was trying to, I was trying to just be a little different from how the beat tapes was being submitted to Rockefeller because they was going through beat tapes. Jay is a beat. Yeah, he goes through them beats. Beat, like, yeah. and and you know, Dame is definitely the comedy of it because if the shit ain't hot. He gonna laugh at you. Mm. you know what I'm saying? I, I was like, just you know, amazed that like, yo, it's a three ball loop, but. They're riding it perfect. Yeah, they're riding it. I think, I think me doing that kind of like made things different. Like, you yeah. know, kind of like, you know, all right, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I did that purposely, and I was definitely inspired off Q-Tip's three-bar beats. Mm. Mm. Q-Tip has amazing three-bar three beats bar, that I was yeah. definitely in love with. And I was also, the intros that I was shout doing. Shout to Q-Tip. Yeah, shout to Q-Tip. Um, uh, thank you for a war tour because that song is like so infectious to my life right now. I play it every morning like a war tour. I play it. As for Swiss Beats, Walk Wilder attempted to imitate his epic intros, specifically citing the horn laden opening of Jay Z's Jigga, which was tacked onto the end of Volume 3, Life and Times of S. Carter, as a hidden song. But I did see that the, the dance floor in the club was kind of going to this next thing, and Swiss was definitely introducing that type of vibe, that energy. That, right. was, that, that was definitely dope. So, you know, was coming and saying that they needed joints and I knew they wasn't dealing with me just doing just an any old beat like a beat a certain way right. um so I just took the hottest thing that was going on and that was jigging my nigga. and he said bam 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 I did mm. bam, da, da, da. Mm, like I was yeah, being inspired yeah. off Swiss that was yeah. definitely mm. influenced by Swiss but to this day when that rings off yeah yeah. <laughs> it's just like, dude. Like, and that's how I felt when I used to hear Jigga My I used to be like, damn, when that bam, 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 bam. Like Swiss used to have them intros that, yeah. and I was like, all right, so in order for me to jump in, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta introduce my shit too. Walk Wilder also delved into the somewhat complicated sample history of Do It Again, Put Your Hands Up, which borrows its hook from Call of the Wild rapper Baron Riggs' intro from Cypress Hill's 1996 Throw Your Hands in the Air remix. I actually took it from the acapella of Throw Your Hands Up by Cypress Hill. Mm -hmm. With Cypress Hill, MC8, Redman, um, Eric Sermon. I think that was, that was the only people on there. Um, so I put the Throw Your Hands Up in there. I'm figuring since it's only an acapella, ain't really nothing to clear and it's a remix. So the, you know, the Soul Assassins say, yo, this is a Soul Assassins in the building, want a new Cypress Hill remix. We want you to throw your hands up, yeah. I said, I'm throw your hands up. Put it in a song. I didn't think nothing of it. So, song comes out, blows up. All of a sudden, my Yarn Walden, my, my lawyer, calls me in the office and says, yo, uh, I get a call from a lady talking about throw your hands up. It's her. It's somebody she knows. She puts a claim in. So then Jay asks me and says, yo, throw your hands up. It's that. So I said, I said, damn, I sampled it from a a joint, a cappella, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I didn't. I was saying to myself, it does sound like P, but it does sound like. I, I always thought. It I was just fine. thought somebody it was a good sample that caught it. Yeah. Walk Wilder, who also produced the Volume Three Life and Times of S. Carter cut NYMP, then recalled bumping into Ricks one day while buying records at the since closed Virgin Mega Store in Times Square. However, according to Walk Wilder, it wasn't a simple case of giving Ricks a piece of the profits. Though I sampled his voice, that was a remix of an original. Mm, so he can't get paid. Mm. So the original people get paid. Yeah, get paid. He right. don't get paid. So the, throw, the original Throw Your Hands Up mix, I think, gets paid off of the writers on that. Right. Mm -hmm. The Soul Assassins remix, I don't know if they get the money. No, they mm. don't. 
Wow. You know what I'm saying? I hope he got paid. No, nah, he don't get the money. I hope he got paid. He ain't getting nothing. So he, he made that call for nothing. Well, I think right now he can ride <laughs> off into the sunset like, yo, I'm part of, I'm a part, part of, of history. Yeah. Part of history. What about yeah. the original sample that used his voice? Would he get paid off of that? No. No. I, he his. never said it on the original. Following the success of Do It Again, Put Your Hands Up, Walk Wilder went on to produce Jay-Z's Guilty Until Proven Innocent collaboration with R. Kelly from 2000's The Dynasty Rock with Familia. But let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. Forms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to tiphopdx.com.